Uh huh. Yes. Yes, Ms. Goldman, you do have 48 acres of some of the most beautiful property in Southern California. Yes, I know you're very particular about your buyer. Yes, I do. I have some possible buyers for you. All of them. Yes, they all have references. Of course, yeah. You can meet them in person. No problem. Let me get back to the office and I can email you everything that you need, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Real estate can be a brutal business. Now, if you want to be successful, you have to be prepared for that. Demanding clients, by the numbers brokers, agents who shake your hand with a smile while stabbing you in the back. Now, if you don't think that you can handle that, then you better take up something else. All right, any final questions? Yes. Actually, it's a two-part question. I was wondering what got you interested in real estate. And also, you said it was a brutal business. So why have you stayed in it? Well, I've tried all kinds of other jobs and I've had a ton of horrible bosses that paid me way less than I deserved. And then I realized, who needs them? With real estate, I can make more money than they do and be my own boss. And I can control my own destiny. Oh, and to answer your second question, I'm just a sadomasochist. <laughs> anyway, I think my time is up. Please reach out to me once you get your license. I'm willing to work with new agents. All right? Good luck, everybody. Hi, I'm Shelby Wilson. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. That was a great question. It tells me you're gonna be a pretty good agent. Really? Yes. You know, it's pretty much lip service when I tell classes like this to give me a call, but I really think that you should keep in touch. I will. Good. <laughs> you know, I was thinking maybe I could start now. Look, I know that's probably a long shot, but I feel like I could learn a lot from you about how the business really works. And if I wait, somebody else might come along and take that slot. Well, you know, you can't earn a commission without a license. No, I know. Um, I was thinking an internship. Well, I couldn't pay you. That's fine. I just want to learn. Okay. On a trial basis. Thank you. Be here tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Okay. And before you arrive, buy two dozen donuts from Donut Friend and a box of travel coffee from Jones. Think you can handle that? Absolutely. Okay. And I promise I will not let you down. Don't suck up and don't make promises you can't keep. It looks weak. Okay. Yeah. See you in the morning. All right. I start working at a real estate company tomorrow. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, technically, it's an internship with the potential to become a job once I get my license. So, no pay? No, I'm just getting in the door. But if I make a good impression, it could lead to a paying job. I mean, aren't you, aren't you happy for me? I, I am. I, I am. Okay. Well, what about you? How'd your meeting go? Well, it didn't. What? He had his assistant remind me that I was only a temp, and if I didn't like it, they'd find somebody else who did. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. It's okay. It just confirmed they weren't good people. I wouldn't want to spend the next ten years with a company like that. Yeah, you deserve better. Yeah, I do. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so who's this lady you're going to be working for? Oh, Paulette Bolton. What firm is she with? What do you mean? I mean, does she work for one of those big companies like Remax or something? I think it's just her. Is she legit? Yeah. She's been in the business for like 20 years. I guess you know what you're doing. 
I have a good feeling about this. Paulette? I'm here. Got the coffee and the donuts. Paulette? It's Shelby. Hello? Hello? You here? Paulette, is that you? Paulette? Where's Paulette? I, I, don't, I don't know. Who are you? I'm, I'm Shelby, Shelby Wilson. I'm, I'm sure Paulette's here somewhere, but um, maybe I could help you with something? Yeah. I want my $17,000 back. What? Are you in with her? I, 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 Listen, you tell that bitch if I don't get my money back, I'm going to take it. Sure. Is that any way to speak to my colleague? So, you finally decided to show yourself, huh? Shelby, would you do me a favor? Please go to my car and go to the trunk and get the cleaning supplies out before people come. Uh, my keys are right there, and it's a black drag, hon. Okay. Thank you. That is very unprofessional, Walter, even for you. I put 17 grand in that deal. I told you the developer filed for bankruptcy. They said they'd have those condos built in four months, and we'd double our money. Walter, read the contract. You knew there was risk. You made it sound like there was no risk, Paulette. I need that cash now. Okay. They seem to want to settle this, so let me work on it and see what I can do. Just give me a few days. I already give you six months. I'll call them this week, and then I'll let you know. I heard that one before, Paulette. I will. I don't know what else to say. You better. <clears throat> Some boss you got there, Shelby Wilson. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. No, not at all. I was just doing a little prayer. That's <laughs> a little broker's prayer. It's good stuff. What's the deal with that Walter guy? It's a long story. We don't have time to get into that right now. Oh, but would you would you do me a favor? Um, after you clean up that mess, I haven't had time to put out my signs. Would you put them out for me? Signs? Do I have to hold your hand? The signs, the signs, the open house signs, the ones that direct people to come here. You must have seen them when you got the cleaning supplies out of my trunk. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. Okay, start at the corner of this block and circle your way out. And if you see somebody else's signs, just uh, put mine in the foreground. <laughs> One more thing, your car, move it, please. It, it, it kills the property value. Just move it somewhere, anywhere, just get it out of here. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is the right place. Yeah, no. Welcome. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm Paulette Bolton. Amanda. Yes. Hello, Hi. nice to meet you. Hi. Uh, I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Um, is this 
two one two one Shenandoah because the the pictures on your website look completely different. Yeah, like where's the grass and the paved driveway? I'm so sorry. My assistant here is new and she mixed up the picture files. But this is a fantastic home. If you want to come inside and look around, you never know. You may fall in love. Uh. Sure, we're here. We might as well look around. Okay, great. Wait till you see the kitchen. Oh, the cabinetry is all brand new. No, they weren't serious. You can always tell. How? Oh, that woman's jewelry was so cheap. <laughs> they didn't have a pot to piss in. I'm hoping we're gonna have better luck with this place. I need you to do me a favor. Sure. I need you to pretend to be somebody else. A possible buyer. What? I've got a client on the hook for this place. She's coming by in a few minutes. Hey, Rhonda, I think I can close the deal, but I just need to put a little pressure on her. Wait, so, so you want me to... Just keep it simple. Ask a few questions about the property, make a fake phone call, rave about the place, and then say you want to make an offer. What, what kind of offer? 550. But say it loud enough for her to hear. What's the problem? No, nothing. I just... I mean, isn't that kind of against the rules? Your mind has become polluted by that crap that they teach you in those dumb classes. Fiduciary duty and conflict of interest and blah, 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 blah. That, that's why people fail. This is real life. This is how you make a sale. Honey, either you want to succeed or you don't. I could get somebody else if you don't want to do it. No, no, I'm... Um, I'll do it. That's the spirit. Oh, okay. She's here. Okay. okay. Um. Hello, Felicia. I'm Paulette Bolton. Hi. Nice to meet you in person. Nice to meet you. I'm so sorry I didn't get your text. I was talking to someone else. <laughs> someone else? I thought I was the only one interested. You were uh, until today, but don't worry. I don't. I don't think she's serious. <sighs> okay. Paulette, uh, when was the house built? Uh, in '02. Wow, it still looks brand new. Oh, thank you. Um, hi. Hello. I'll, I'll be back. I'm just going to go in the other room and let me know if you have any other questions. I will. I'm going to call my husband. Okay, great. Let's go measure that den. Sure. <laughs> you have your little tape measure with you? I do. Okay. Now, I think this is 20 by 30. Okay. Hey, Steve. Yeah, I'm at the house now, but there's somebody else here. Yeah, no, I know, but I think this lady is willing to offer a lot. Oh, oh, I should stop her. We shouldn't be hearing this. I mean, it's one of the best houses. Uh, well, hold on. A lot? What's a lot? I think we should offer 700. 700? Is she kidding? I can't compete with that. I, I mean, especially for this place. You know what? Just let her have it. Oh, no, wait, wait, Felicia. I, I, I don't think she meant that. I think that she's probably just trying to intimidate you. Okay, yeah, I'll let her know. Thank you. Oh, you must have a lot of money to burn, lady. Oh, but Felicia, are Bye -bye. you... Bye-bye. What the hell were you doing? I, I just did what you said. What was the price that I told you? Five fifty. Why did you say seven? Well, I was just trying to get you a better commission. No, you were trying to kiss my ass. Don't do that, ever. God, now you just killed that deal. Oh. I don't know, maybe this is just too much for you. No, Paulette, I'm sorry, I just. What? Well, I just thought this job would be more than cleaning up spills and putting out signs and, and pretending to be somebody else. You know what? You should consider yourself very lucky that I don't have you on a street corner handing out balloons. I think you need to go home and ask yourself tonight if you really want to do this for the next 25 years of your life. <sighs> so disappointed. She had you doing what? Posing as a buyer. 
She had you posing as a buyer to defraud someone. And on your first day? No, it's not fraud. It's it's just a technique. That's how you make the big money in real estate. You could really use the extra income right now. I, I can't believe how lax you're being about this. You can get into a lot of trouble. And you don't have your license yet. Exactly. That's why this is such a great opportunity for me. Most real estate firms don't take people on before they get their license. There's probably a reason for that. I'm just trying to help Grant. I mean, one of us has to pay off our student loans. Sneak up on me like that? I need your rent. I'll have it to you by the end of the week. It's already two weeks late. I know. I'm sorry. But I just closed the deal, so I'll get you the cash in a couple of days. Uh, you know, out of all the people in this building, you're the only one that gives me trouble. Jerry. I could easily get more money for this space if I leased it to somebody else. I'll have it to you in two days. <laughs> Find you. You to find them. Oh, hi. Ready? Yes. Okay. So, who are the new clients we're meeting? Oh, it's a gay couple. I've been trying to gentrify this street for years. Because once you get a gay couple on the block, you want to quickly snatch up some nearby properties. Because nothing improves home values like the gays. That seems a bit prejudiced. In a good way. It's the others that are illegal to discuss. Now just open this a little bit, just a little light. Not too much. Like that? Great. Okay. Okay, they're here. Oh, okay. are you ready? Yes. Okay, shall we? Go out there. Do like I said. Don't screw up like last time. Go! Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I just got here. I saw it. It's, it's even prettier than on the website. Yeah, and the kitchen's great. All, all new appliances and cabinets. Oh, and the neighborhood is perfect. Lots of young couples. No, I actually think the price is low. Five fifty. Yeah, and listen, there's already somebody here, so if we wait, we're gonna lose it. I think we should offer twenty over listing. No, I don't want to argue about this. I just want to do it. Please, if you love me, you'll say yes. Hi. Hi. Oh yes, thank you. Thank you. Good dress. <laughs> 25 overlisting. <laughs> that seller accepted like that. I know. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> You know, yesterday, my hope for you had begun to fade. But then that magic that you pulled today, that faux fight with your husband. <laughs> yeah, well, actors are always talking about how they're tapping into personal experiences, so I just did that. Oh. Did something happen between you and what's-his-face? Grant. We just had a little squabble last night. About what? Me, 
Well, he doesn't exactly approve of everything that you and I have been doing. Oh, well then, why are you telling him? I don't know, I just, I guess I just tell him everything. Hmm. Does he tell you everything? Absolutely. You sure about that? Yeah. I don't know, from my experience, men lie like dogs. And they don't like it when you're controlling. They don't like when you earn more money than they do. It brings out their insecurities. But I'm, I, I, I don't know the guy. So he could be different than all the others. Hmm. I can hold this. Oh, no, 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 you don't, you need to come inside for this. Oh, oh, sorry. No, that's okay. Take the car back to the office and leave my keys on the desk. I'm just gonna Uber home. All right, okay. Hi, Max. Hey. How are you? Fine. Don't forget to lock up when you leave. Okay. Okay. Your friend's not joining us? Oh, no, no, she's running an errand. Oh. unfortunate. Max, you're gonna be very impressed by the gem that I found. Oh, God. I forgot you really don't enjoy small talk. Well, um, I know how valuable your time is. <laughs> Come on. Relax. Have a drink. Oh, scotch. Neat. That's my girl. <laughs> well, anyway, this land has been tied up for 12 years in court, and it's finally available. There's a fortune to be had by the right buyer. Please stop talking about that. We can discuss details later, okay? Right now, I want to talk about the perks. <laughs> okay, what did you have in mind? Your associate. Shelby? Hmm, is that her name? She's very green. She doesn't even have her license yet. I don't want to meet her. Maybe you can uh, arrange something. Hmm. What makes you think that I would do that? Because I know you, Paulette. And you'll do anything it takes to sweeten the deal. Well, do we have a deal? <laughs> no, not yet, but... If you want me to give it serious consideration, and I will, for you, she'll make it worth my while. At least I hope she will. I'll see what I can do. Are you? Oh, sorry. You must be uh, the husband. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I'm Paulette Bolton. Nice to meet you. You know, I knocked at the door and nobody answered. So Shelby and I are in a bit of a rush. Yeah. Well, she's getting ready. Okay. Yeah. Sure. 
So, um, what do you do? I work at an insurance company. Oh, that's exciting. Are you a broker? Not exactly. I work at the front. Well, you're a receptionist? Yeah. Everything okay? Hey! Oh! <laughs> uh, Paula decided to show herself in. Oh! <laughs> okay, uh, it, I just need two minutes. Sure, you know, I'll just wait outside. Okay. But I, I didn't knock, and then no one answered, so... I'll be right there. She just walked into our house. Okay, well, I probably just left the door unlocked. I'm sorry. She just thinks she can barge into our house? So, this is my dream property. I've been chasing it for almost 10 years. 48 acres waiting to be transformed into the most beautiful neighborhood in Southern California. Wow, this is gorgeous. Mm hmm. Wait, isn't this where that woman got killed a few weeks ago? Oh, yeah, I think they haven't caught the guy yet. It's probably some drifter. Okay, thank you very much. Are we safe? Yes, of course we're safe. I'm sure he's long gone. Silly. The old woman that owns this land doesn't understand the market. She has zero vision. When I get it, I'm going to build a beautiful gated community where families can live out their dreams. All I need is the capital. Well, how much do you need? The land is worth about 15 million, and once we build a community, I think about 30 to 40 more. Where are you gonna get that kind of money? Remember that mansion that I showed you yesterday? Yeah. His name's Max. He's an investor. A lot of people are competing for his money, but I'm very confident that he's gonna be interested in this. As long as we play our cards carefully. We? Well, Yes, we're working together on this. Partner. Really? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't need to tell you what your commission on a deal this size is gonna be. Seven figures. So I'm counting on you to come through for me. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Okay. Paulette, thank you. Oh, <gasps> sure. Wow. <laughs> I just need you to do me one favor and promise that you won't breathe a word of this to anyone. Not even your husband. Okay. Can I trust you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay good. And one final thing. We need to get your license. I know. The test is in two days. You should be home studying right now. <sighs> Here. What's this? It's a practice test. Memorize it. This over here, I was thinking, either a job or Your time begins now. So, how'd it go? It went well. What's wrong? Hmm. Nothing. I'm pretty sure I passed. In fact, I know I did. That practice exam I had to study from? Thank you. Mm -hmm. It was exactly like the test. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait. Did you get it from Paulette? Well, I mean, that that's cheating. She's like a criminal. No, no, I'm sure she didn't know. Oh, with everything else she's done? This just happens to be a coincidence? Well, at least you got your license now. You don't have to deal with her anymore? You can work with any broker. She's making me partner.
You're not seriously considering this. No, she's got this deal for this land. It's a big secret, so I shouldn't even be telling you about it. But if it goes through, my commission is going to be a million dollars. Another one of her promises. It sounds bogus to me. It's not bogus. Grant, I know what I'm doing. I've researched it myself. Honey, do you have any idea what this could mean for us? I mean, we could buy our house. We could start a family. We'd be set for life. Or do you just not like the idea of me making that kind of money? I don't like the idea of you working for her. I'm glad you finally got your license so I can introduce you to Max. <laughs> you know this is the biggest deal of your life, right? I sure do. Fifty million dollars. You know, Max is gonna make us work for that money, right? Well, I'm ready. He's a bit of a flirt. Oh, that's all right. I can handle it. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Shelby Wilson. Why the hell won't your boss return my call? Who is this? Walter. The guy she totally screwed over. It's that guy, Walter. How does he have my number? Oh, I don't know. Just tell him to call me. Look, Walter, you're gonna have to call Paulette. I can't get that bitch on the phone. But now that I got you, I want you to tell her that I'm gonna make her pay. One way or the other. And I'm gonna make you pay too. He just threatened me. Don't worry about it, that guy is all talk. Trust me, just block his number, I'll take care of it. You're not wearing your wedding ring, are you? Of course. You're not supposed to be married. What? It's just, it's better for business. You should take your ring off. Everybody does that. Matt! Hi. Hi. <laughs> Max, I'd like you to meet my partner, Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> Named after the car. My father always wanted one. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful car, beautiful woman. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's not every night I get attractive ladies paying me a visit. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. <sighs> oh, hey, what are we drinking? Well, it's Shelby's night. We'll let her decide. Oh, uh, d do you have any wine? <laughs> if you're going to be doing real estate business in this city, you're gonna need to develop a taste for scotch. Oh, oh, okay, then that's that's what we'll do. Coming up. You know, uh, Shelby's been a real asset while we've been developing these plans. Paulette, I thought this was purely a social call. Oh, <laughs> when has that ever been the case with us? <laughs> well, tonight, it's not time for a pitch. We are here to relax. We are here to enjoy each other's company. Here you go. Thank you. Uh -huh. To Shelby. May your journey through this business be long and prosperous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you certainly have the right mentor for it. Oh, well, Paulette's been great. <laughs> oh, thanks. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's strong. <laughs> you know what? I feel like a soak in the jacuzzi. What do you say, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have our suits with us, so... Who says you need them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, I think that, that 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 will be really refreshing, actually. What do you think, Shelby? Yeah, sure. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Doll, pour me another drink. I'm gonna throw on some trunks and I will see you both in the water. Okay. Oh, um, there's some extra towels in the guest bathroom right over here, okay? Okay! <laughs> okay, let's go. Paulette, Paulette, wait! What? Are we really doing this? Of course! I told you he was a flirt. Well, 
I'm married. Who the hell cares? Do you really think that Grant would turn down an invitation like this if it were a beautiful woman? Yes. No. He'd do it for nothing. Your price is $50 million. So shut up and keep your eye on the prize. Come on. Always is on my case. Always. This round's on me. I do one more round. You got it. Long day. Long week. You? I've had better. I'm sorry to hear that. Why are you sorry? It's not like you know me. Not like you know my ex would become a total stalker. I hope you're protecting yourself. Restraining order works. This is actually my first night out in a long time. Because I am? Yeah. I was always afraid to go anywhere. I'm afraid that if he showed up, no one would do anything to help me. They'd just take out their phones and start recording. Well, I'm right over there. If you run into any trouble, you let me know. Thank you. Will you let me buy you a drink? Payment for your protection? Uh, that's okay. I'm gonna get my coworkers a drink. Okay. You know what? Uh, why don't I get them their drinks, and then I'll I'll come back and make sure he doesn't show up. What would you like? Gin martini. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Shelby. There she is. Come on in. The water is warm. Come on. It's beautiful. <laughs> there you go. See? <laughs> Isn't this pleasant? It's fabulous. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Shelby, are you single? Um, basically. Really? A pretty girl like you? No, no boyfriend? Well, she's so busy working, trying to earn a living. There's no time for that nonsense. It's too bad. Well, she needs to pay the bills, like the rest of us. Yes, well, if everything works out between all of us, you will have plenty of money to pay the bills and plenty of money left over to enjoy the finer things in life. <laughs> <laughs> here, here. Uh, you know, I see no reason for us to keep all of this stuff on. <laughs> <laughs> it's really awkward being the only one. Oh, um. I. Uh, I. I'm. I'm sorry. I need. I need to leave. Shelby, thank you for the drinks. Well, Shelby. Shelby. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, that was completely humiliating. I know. And I'm, I'm I really thought sorry. you explained it to her. I did. I don't know. Let me just let me go talk to her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you should because you know what this is a deal breaker. Yeah, I know. I I, I got that. You're gonna flush a million dollar commission down the toilet? I am not getting naked with that man. Why not? Because you're such a good person. Because you're so virtuous, you're so loyal to your husband. Yes, that's exactly why. Oh, that's not why. I know who you are. I've seen what you're willing to do for a buck. You're not better than I am. Don't you fool yourself. Opportunities like this come around once in a lifetime. You do what you have to do. Uh, you know what, Paulette? I am going to Uber home. Hey! Shelby, everybody cheats. 
everybody, even Grant. Don't let him make a fool out of you. These are perfect. Great. If you ever need anything like this again, you have my number. Oh, you will be the first one I call. <laughs> it's been a pleasure doing business. Thank you. You're making sure of that. You were completely passed out when I came home last night. What time is it? It's late. Huh? It's past eight, Grant. Oh, man. Oh, damn. How many drinks did you have last night? A few, I guess. Who were you out with? Uh, I, I told you, people from the office. I have some news. Yeah? I'm, I'm quitting. You were right about Paulette. Oh, honey, that, that's good. It's the right thing to do. You find another broker to work with? Yeah. Yeah. God, I gotta get going. Mm. Mm. Oh, careful, careful, Grant. Oh. She was in tears when she called me this morning. She feels terrible, Max. Oh, she should. She ruined a perfectly good evening. I know. But she wants to apologize. Oh, really? And why should I give her a second chance? Oh, because she's a really good person. And she really likes you a lot. She said that? <laughs> Absolutely. Paul, at your notice? Well, I, I left a message for her, but she hasn't called me back. Well, good riddance. So much better off without her. Time you were just cheating on me with some tramp. 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, this can't be. Shelby? Shelby, wait, no, Shelby. No, Brent. Shelby, honey, hold on a second. Hold on, Shelby. Wait, we can talk about this. This was a mistake. I don't want to talk. Please, you can come back inside. I don't want to talk to you, Grant. Shelby, I swear to you, I don't know what happened. Honey, please. Come back. Yeah, I'll come by later this afternoon and take a look. Okay. Be good. Okay, bye. Well, I'm surprised to see you. I assume you got my text. Yeah. Escrow closed. Congratulations. Your first commission. I'm still willing to honor our deal, even if you decide you still want to quit. Just don't cash it till the end of the week. I think I'll have my money by then. Paulette, um, I don't want to quit. I made a mistake. Oh, what's going on? I'm sorry. I, um, I really screwed up. Everything that I thought I knew. <laughs> it's Grant. He, um, he's seeing someone else. Oh, my God. God, oh, why didn't you call me? I was so embarrassed. Oh, my. After everything that you warned me about him. And he turned out to be exactly what you said. I told you. You're better than he is. I want back in. I want another chance with Max. Oh, that is what I wanted to hear, my girl. I know what to expect this time. Oh, that's right. Just give him what he wants. Just remember, it's a million dollar commission. With that kind of money in the bank, you won't have to deal with the maxes of the world ever again. Everything's gonna be all right. Okay, so we wanna move forward. Both of you. Mm-hmm. Yes. But you have to hear us out first. Go ahead. Okay. Now, I know in the past I've brought you smaller projects that were less ambitious, but this I am very, very proud of. Okay. Here we have a gated community mm -hmm. three miles from the ocean. Custom built for the upscale family buyer. Mm. Parents and children can thrive here, never having to leave the security of their private enclave. <laughs> if I remember correctly, you're single, right, Shelby? Right. And here you ladies are pitching me an idea about what families want, yet... You can't speak personally about family. Oh, oh, well, uh, research shows Research that... can show whatever you want it to show. Okay, all right, well, well, we can make this uh, more inviting. Uh, we can lose, Max, we can, we can lose uh, a block of townhomes and we can replace that with dog and kid parks. And uh, right here we have room for a resort-style pool Paulette, and a Paulette. full gym, yes. It's not feeling sexy. Here's the thing, Max. This is about land, not about what's on it. The world is shrinking and only going to get smaller, right? Does anybody else want a refill? No, I'm set. Thanks. 
well. Mm. Max, what we have is the most beautiful piece of unspoiled real estate in L.A. County. The landscape speaks to people's dreams. Forget the pool and the gym. Imagine a series of gated estates, much like yours, built to take advantage of the scenery and the views, built to coexist with nature. Our clientele loves the idea of preserving a habitat while living alongside it. We're creating an exclusive community and saving the environment at the same time. That's our hook. I'm, I'm sorry, Max. I don't think she's... Paulette, saying... she's right. She's 100% right. That's how we should be selling this. Go green. These rich Hollywood bastards, they will, they will eat this up. Oh, see? Say I knew. I knew you had something special. Uh, <laughs> All right. It looks like we were going to be doing some business together. Feel like celebrating? Not yet. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, no, uh, you have no idea just how badly I want to celebrate with you, but not until the papers are signed. She's driving a hard bargain. Yes, she is. All right. Send the papers to my lawyers. I'll have a look at them and I'll get back to you. Well, soon, I hope. As soon as I possibly can. What the hell was that? I saved the deal. No, you just made a fool out of me. He wasn't going for your pitch. You don't know what he was going for or not going for. You've known the guy for five minutes. I pulled him in. Okay, I hooked the fish. Hey, this is my deal. Don't touch me. Go get your own ride. I need to speak with you. Well, Don't make me go to the police. Why'd you do it? I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't blackmail me. You didn't steal anything. You just tried to destroy me. Why? Who hired you? Come on, stop playing games. You drugged me and drove me home, which is kidnapping, by the way. And you staged all those photos with me in my bed. I mean, who hired you? She never actually gave me her name. She? Yes, some uptight crazy bitch I met at an office. Real estate, I think. Did you send these? No. I guess she did. She gave me a disposable phone, I gave it back. Look, if it helps, we never actually did anything. You were just a prop. <gasps> Grant! Sorry. I don't want to talk right now. I'm just here to grab some things and then I'm leaving. Listen. It was Paulette. She set me up. Is that your story now? Paulette forced you to drop your pants for some bimbo? Nothing happened. Ugh. Those pictures were all staged when I was knocked out. Do you understand how ridiculous that sounds? Paulette hired a hooker to drug me and do all this. Right, she hired a hooker. That's why you couldn't wake me up when you came home the other night. I know her goal is to break us up. She treats you like a slave and wants you all to herself. You have had it out for Paulette since the very beginning. I have proof. I don't actually have it. Oh, Grant. Listen, Paulette gave that woman a phone. She used that phone to take those pictures. That same phone she used to text me the stuff. Find the phone, find the pictures.
are you doing in here? You hired this woman? You have no right to go through my personal things. And you have no right trying to wreck my marriage. I was trying to help you. Help me? You screwed up my life. What life? Living in some little rental house with some crappy little loser who answers telephones for a living? And what about you? What's that? A luxury condo? I do what I have to to get by. <sighs> Shelby, think about what you're doing. We are about to pull off one of the greatest real estate deals of the decade. So what? You're about to make a million dollar commission. I don't care, Paulette. I quit. What do you mean? You That's insane. Do you hear yourself? Shelby, I need you. Please. No, Paulette, we're done. What do you mean we're done? You don't quit on me. Nobody quits on me. You're gonna regret this, Shelby. I'll make it my life's mission to destroy any sale you try to do. You're done. You hear me? You're done! I can't say that I'm surprised. Well, I just thought you should know. To be honest, I wasn't gonna work with Paula at anyway. Uh, you want some coffee? I'll take a water. Help yourself? Thank you. Oh, uh, poor Paulette. Her ideas are so stale. But I find your ideas fresh and interesting. Well, I was hoping so. Does this mean we still are going to work together? Under the right circumstances. What do you have in mind? This investment is rock solid. And you're a man who likes to make money. So I was thinking we could be partners in this. Mm -hmm. Business partners. <gasps> Strictly professional. Shelby, you take all the fun out of getting rich. However, I do admire your moxie. Stealing the deal out from under Paulette, that's good. No, I didn't steal it. This is my vision, not hers. Oh. Fine, fine. <laughs> Whatever you have to do to justify it. But if we are going to be partners, business or otherwise, we're going to have to play by my rules, okay? My money. My rules. I'm sure I can find someone else. Thank you for your time. Well, whoever you find, not going to be able to work with them. Not right now. What do you mean? No, you don't know. Know what? Um. Ah. What's this? A complaint filed against you with the Board of Real Estate. You're going to have to fix that first. Paulette did this. Maybe, but it still doesn't change the fact that a freshly licensed agent who already has a complaint will have a really hard time attaching herself to this deal. I'm going to take care of this this afternoon. Good. And once you do, come back and see me. You're right, Shelby. I want that property, and you're a good negotiator, and I will agree to your terms. Strictly professional. No strings. No strings. Oh, don't worry. I have a friend that can help us with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually, I, I completely agree with that. I think that's true. Can you, uh... Are you really that petty? Uh, can, can you, can you hold on a second? Do you see that I'm busy? You filed a complaint with the board? Uh, Francis, let me call you back, please. I don't know what you're talking about. Paulette, if you don't pull that BS complaint, I'm going to tell them everything I know about you, about how you operate. Oh, I tread lightly, little girl. You've broken a lot of rules yourself, in case you've forgotten. Now listen. I'll tell you what, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. I'll help you clear up the complaint if you're willing to come back and work for me again. 
You know, the deal with Max is still salvageable. <laughs> I'm never going to work for you ever again. And Max won't work with you either. That's ridiculous. No, he's going to work with me now. What? Yeah, told me so himself. He thinks your ideas are stale. I don't need you, Paulette. And neither does Max. No, that's my deal. Oh, not anymore. You cannot do that, Shelby. That's my deal. Hey! You can't. You cannot. That's my deal! Hello? Mr. Simmerton? Yes. Who is this? I'd rather not say. But it's come to my attention that one of your tenants at 5600 Del Mar is living on the property illegally. I believe that's a direct violation of the lease. Which tenant is it? Paulette Bolton. <laughs> she won't be a tenant for long. Job, you know that? Oh. You never called me back. I, I, I'm. I, uh, I, uh, I, uh. I've been really busy, Walter. I'm sure you have. A lot of schmucks in this world. Walter, um. I want my 17 grand. I want it now. Okay, that's just not gonna be possible. You gotta understand something, Paulette. You know, I tried to turn my life around, but for some odd reason, banks don't like to give credit to guys with a record. So I had to borrow that money from these guys I met in San Quentin. They're kind of connected, you know what I mean? Yeah. And now they're telling me my time is up. They're going to kill me if I don't pay them back. So I'm not leaving here without my money. It's you and me, Paulette. You and me. Um, okay. You know, I, I, I actually, I have it. I, I, it's at the bank, but I, they're obviously closed. I can't go there right now. You really think I'm that stupid? No, no. One way or another, I'm going to get that money. Even if I got to stay here all night. Um. What if I could give you more? What if I could give you 37000 Guaranteed right now. I'd say that sounds pretty good. Okay. Okay, this is a bank check. This is from the escrow company. Um, I can endorse it over to you if you do me a favor. Depends on what it is. You know that girl that works with me? Shelby? Yeah. She's become a real problem. So after I explained the situation to the woman at the real estate board, she raised the complaint no problem. That's good. Yeah, now that that's all cleared up, all I have to do is sign the papers with Max and I get to close the million dollar deal. I told you you could do this on your own. I did. I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. You're buying dinner? Oh! <laughs> He got in the way. He got in the way? Did 
you shoot her husband? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He went down. She was still standing. I don't know. Did anybody see you? No way. It was too dark. Look, I want my money. Let's do the check. Okay, uh, we're two out in the open. Let's, Let's go to your car. Hurry up! I, I need to do this right. Here, endorse that. On the back, on the back. I gotta hand it to you, Paulette. You finally followed through on a promise. I just, I wanted to give you and Grant my best. Let's go outside. Is it gonna be all right? Yeah, the bullet missed all his major organs, thank God. Should be out of here in a few days. That's a relief. Did the the police tell you about Walter? Yeah, they said that they found him this morning. Looks like he killed himself. Yeah, they talked to me too. I suppose he was looking for me and couldn't find me, so he came after you. That's what the detectives are thinking. I guess he was a real psycho. So I I just, I wanted to let you know that I feel really terrible about everything that's happened. And I've reflected on what I've done and what I've put you through. I'm really sorry. I really hope that you maybe find it in your heart to forgive me. And know that I'm always open to working with you again. <sighs> what? You are unbelievable, Paulette. Why? You came here to get me to come back to work for you? No, I came here because I heard what happened to you guys and I wanted to make sure that... Paula, you listen to me. I will never, ever work for you again. I'm glad he's going to be all right. I'm good. You gotta have a little more. I'm fine. I'm doing better. So, how come you never mentioned this Walter guy? I let Paulette convince me that he wasn't really a threat. I was really desperate for the job. And I was totally in denial. I'm glad I was in the way. I don't know what I would have done if he'd hurt you. I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. Hi, this is Max. I'm not a 
available right now, but if you leave a message, I'll get back to you. Hi, Max. Uh, I have called you several times. I really need a call back. It's very urgent. Okay? Thanks. Bastard. You cannot do this to me, bastard! Alrighty, honey, you're gonna be okay? Only if the Lakers can score 12 points in the next two minutes. Ooh. Well, I will be back in a couple of hours. So just call me if you need me, okay? Okay. Hey, babe? Yeah? Close that deal. I will. Did your lawyers review all the electronic documents? <laughs> yes, indeed. And everything's in order? Absolutely. You did your job very well. Well, the owner's ready to sign, and she can't wait to meet you. Same here. Drink? Sure. Scotch. <laughs> Scotch it is. Um, you know, we should probably sign our agreement. The one between you and me, and just get that out of the way. Absolutely. Let's go up to my office. Sure. Okay, so I just need a few signatures. Max. You really didn't think that I was going to write a check for 50 million and not expect something in return. You said no strings. Oh, yeah. Strings. Pesky little things. They just keep popping up, don't they? Mm. I already said no. Uh, two million dollars. Come on, Shelby. When is a kid like you ever going to have a chance to make that kind of money, huh? Now, come on. It'll be our little secret, no one has to know, and then I will sign the agreement. You're a smart girl. I know you get it. Come no. on. Let's have some No! Just have some fun no. with me. Come on. No! One little no. kiss! No! Come on, just... God. Never betrayed me, Max. you want no one's gonna hear you out here get out of the car get out go go that way go 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 What are you gonna do? We'll see. Are you gonna shoot me? Maybe. It's up to you. What are those? Open your hands. Here, take these. Just give me your hand. Take those. 
Swallow them. Why? Why? Hey, it's pills or bullets. It's up to you. This is crazy. No, it's not crazy. You're crazy. Because you're going to kill yourself. You can't face going to jail. What? What are you talking about? Well, you had a meeting with Max, and he got very sexually aggressive. Then you had a fight. Then in the struggle that followed, you murdered him. As a matter of fact, with this gun, which will be conveniently found near your body. No one's going to believe that. Your name was in his appointment book. And your fingerprints are all over his house. It's a well-known fact that he wanted to have sex with you and you had other ideas. It's not a well-known fact. Well, it is to me. I was an eyewitness to your twisted little relationship. Here. Take them and drink this. No. Just take them. No. Take no? No one can hear us. The next bullet's going in your knee. You want to say no again? Get up. Come on. Take them. All of them. Uh. Open your mouth. Let me see. Lift up your tongue. Lift up your tongue. Come on, God, don't be so scared. You're just gonna go to sleep. It's a lot better than all that blood and gore. Right? This is my deal, Shelby. My deal. And you just remember that as you're drifting off into nothingness. I think this is going to make a beautiful kid park. Gorgeous. How you feeling, Red? Sleeping?
Ma'am? Can you speak up? Ma'am? Hello? What is your location? Are you still there? Hello? Let's go. On your knees. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Yes, Ms. Goldman, you do have 48 acres of some of the most beautiful property in Southern California. Yes, I know you're very particular about your buyer. Yes, I do. I have some possible buyers for you. All of them. Yes, they all have references. Of course, yeah. You can meet them in person. No problem. Let me get back to the office and I can email you everything that you need, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Real estate can be a brutal business. Now, if you want to be successful, you have to be prepared for that. Demanding clients, by the numbers brokers, agents who shake your hand with a smile while stabbing you in the back. Now, if you don't think that you can handle that, then you better take up something else. All right, any final questions? Yes. Actually, it's a two-part question. I was wondering what got you interested in real estate and 